Hello my freaky darlings. Welcome back to another haunting episode of the Freaky Files. Today we're crossing the Irish Sea and diving headfirst into the ghostly archives of the Crumlin Road Jail in Belfast Island. Grab your EMF detectors and let's venture into the chilling history of the Crumlin. The Crumlin Road Jail, or HMP Belfast, has a history as thick as the cobwebs that once covered its cells. Built in 1845, this imposing structure was designed to accommodate up to 550 prisoners. But during its infamous history, it welcomed some 25,000 souls behind its cold iron bars. And um, when I say souls, I mean it quite literally. The Crumb hosted a rogues gallery of notable inmates, including the likes of Martin McGuinness, Michael Stone and Bobby Sands. Okay, not that I actually know who those fuckers were or what crimes they committed, but I'm guessing they were very naughty boys. Anyway, now here's the kicker. This place didn't discriminate. Men, women and even children found themselves locked away within these grim walls. In 1901, an execution chamber was added, where 17 prisoners met their grisly end between its opening and the prison's closure in 1961. Fast forward to 1996, when the Crumlin Row Jail shut its creaky doors for the last time, leaving behind decades of eerie echoes. But don't worry, this prison story doesn't end there. In 2010, the building began its transformation to museum and themed attraction, where visitors could experience the history and maybe even a bit of the haunting firsthand. And yes, they've even hosted content, concerts and weddings here. Um, well, I guess marriage is an institution after all, and nothing says I do like saying it in a haunted prison. I guess it's fitting, sort of. Anyway, every Halloween they turn up the spooky dial with lavish scare attractions and even paranormal investigations. Alleged phenomena within these walls include disembodied voices, phantom footsteps, objects moving on their own and doors slamming shut. In 2016, during a paranormal investigation, a heavy steel door closed all on its own and strange noises echoed through the halls. Some even speak of two ghostly children, a boy and a girl. The girl's name is apparently Isabel, and she's quite the extroverted ghost. When one visitor returned home and reviewed the photographs she had taken during the event, she was shocked to see Isabel standing in a doorway of one of the cells. And she's not the only one who likes to have her picture taken. In 2019, an Irish Mirror report claimed a visitor captured the shadowy figure of a man in uniform lurking in the doorway of a cell in the deserted B wing. Phantom prison wardens still seem to do their rounds there. A padded cell is also located in the B wing, and some visitors have reported seeing a dark entity, while others have reported feeling uneasy or even being touched or shoved while in there. Now, the piece de resistance is the condemned man's cell in Sea Wing. Beneath its seemingly comfortable exterior lies a grim secret. While it may have an ensuite bathroom, it also has an ensuite execution chamber, complete with a hangman's noose. Yeah. Guests have reported seeing a man walking through Sea Wing as if reliving his last moments. And below, in a hidden tunnel connecting the old jail to the courthouse across Crumlin Road, a grey figure has been spotted. This tunnel once ferried prisoners to and from their trials. Even former staff members have encountered the spectral stroller. So there you have it, my freaky darlings. The spine-tingling history and haunting tales of the Crumlin Road Jail. Until next time, may your spirits be high and your scares even higher. Slanting.